Hi friends, Mike Smith here, Senior Minister of Minchinbury Anglican Church, bringing you our weekly uh, news update from here at the church. Uh, last Friday, I encouraged you to, to pray boldly because we have a God that we pray to that can do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. I want to double down on that idea again today. I was reading in Hebrews chapter 4 this morning uh, these wonderful words, and I pray that they'll be an encouragement to you. Let us approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us at the proper time. It's Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Uh, our prayers do make a difference. So let me encourage you to keep praying boldly uh, today. Now, coming up this weekend is Father's Day uh, on Sunday. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and hope that you have a wonderful day with your family uh, on Sunday. And as a church, we want to support, as we do each and every year, uh, the Mission Aviation Fellowship on Father's Day, particularly the Fuel for Father's Day uh, ministry. I encourage you to head on over to the math.org.au slash Father's Day website. And on there, you can purchase a Father's Day card, uh, a jerry can. And every jerry can that's purchased in the lead up to this Father's Day or on Father's Day keeps the Mission Aviation Fellowship flying and enables them to continue their important work of providing aid and medicine and Bibles to remote areas of our world. And you can see lives transformed as a result. So purchase a jerry can in the lead up uh, to this Father's Day from the MAF uh, website. Well, this Sunday, we're also continuing our teaching series through the book of Ecclesiastes, and we're in chapter 10, and, and Chris Gray is going to be preaching on the theme, The Way of Wisdom. And if there's anything that marks life in a broken world, it is this strange mix of wisdom and foolishness. But as it only takes a small amount of a toxic chemical to contaminate a water supply, so it only takes a small amount of foolishness to contaminate every part of our life. And, and sadly, it is often those that claim to be wise and those who claim to be the most powerful in our world that where foolishness often thrives. But we're also going to see this Sunday that it's the foolishness of the cross that also has the potential to permeate every part of our life. But in contrast to the foolishness of this world, it has the opportunity to transform it for good. So friends, make sure that you tune in to our live stream service at 10 a.m. on Sunday to engage with that message and, and do also Zoom in at 6 p.m. on Sunday night for our live question and answer time on the book of Ecclesiastes. And I'm I'm sure it will be a great encouragement to you. Now, two events that are coming up in the life of our church throughout the month of September, two opportunities uh, for you to gather together with God's people to pray and to praise His name, albeit virtually and in an online world, but two opportunities nonetheless. The first is a Minchinbury Anglican Zoom prayer night. We're going to try and gather together all the members of our church uh, for one night to come together on Zoom and to pray for our city, our community and our world world. That'll be on Thursday night, the 16th of September. So can I encourage you to put that in your diaries now and look forward to gathering together with God's church uh, to pray boldly together. And the second opportunity uh, is an opportunity where lots of the churches in Sydney are going to come together for a very special combined churches praise night. It's on Wednesday, the 22nd of September. It will be a live stream event uh, there'll be uh, live singing. There'll be an opportunity to pray together. And our own Archbishop, Kanishka Raffel, is also going to open up God's word to us. So that's on Wednesday, the 22nd of September. So there's two great opportunities to come together, to pray boldly, to come before the throne of grace, ask for the help that only God can provide. So I can commend those two events in September uh, for you. Well, friends, that's all the news for today. Uh, stay safe and we look forward to seeing you online at Sunday at 10 a.m. God bless.